Hi guys, welcome back to Codemaster Coach, your medical coding tutor. Guys, we're continuing to build our coding toolbox. Now remember, this toolbox is a toolbox of resources that we as coders tend to have to fall back on or use to help us find information in our day-to-day -day activities of coding. Now remember, these resources can be used to aid, to assist, to find information because sometimes we're just we're just lost we don't know where to go and our hands feel like they're tied so these are resources again the ICD 10 CM guidelines which I covered in my first video CPT guidelines and then today as promised the CMS website CMS stands for Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services so let me show you or give you a quick tour of that website Okay. Okay, guys, as you can see here, this is the opening page. When you put in the search box, if you put in www.cms.gov, it will bring you to the home page for the CMS website. And again, this website is the website if you have any Medicare, Medicaid questions. And as you can see, they have bullets or drop-down boxes all the way across the top. Okay. Tons and tons of information. But as you go down, you also see additional information. And the main resources that I tend to fall on, their top five resources here, are manuals, Medicare coverage database, CMS forms, transmittals, and the MLN homepage, which will be one of our toolbox resources that I'm going to use next. But again, this is the opening page when you open the CMS.gov website. Now the biggest tool that I use on this website in the search box type in Medicare claims processing manual okay if you'll type that in that web search box for this website it will take you to a, the Medicare manual and again remember this website has internet only manuals as well as paper based manuals but this particular internet only manual is the claim processing manual which provides day-to-day -day operating instructions policies and procedures based on um, st statutes and regulations guidelines and directives it is a 38 chapter document and guys look at some of the resources within this document Chapter 1, General Billing Requirements. That's probably one of the biggest ones that I tend to use. Chapter 2, Admission and Registration Requirements. Chapter 3, Inpatient Hospital Billing. Chapter 4, Part B Hospital, including Hospital, Inpatient Hospital, Part B, and OPPS. Chapter 5, Part B Outpatient Rehabilitation and Course and OPT Services. Chapter 6, Inpatient Part A Billing and Skilled Nursing Facility Consolidated Billing. And guys, yeah, the list just goes on and on. Rural Health, Home Health, Processing Hospice. And only thing I did to find this, Ambulatory Surgical Centers. And it goes on even, even, even further, guys. There are 38 total chapters, and I know I'm zooming through these. One other big one that I tend to use a lot is chapter 23. Let's see if I can find 23. There it is. Fee, schedule, administration, and coding requirements. Yep, chapter 23. But again, the way that I found this was on the opening page to cms.gov. Up in the search box, I put Medicare Claims Processing. 
and it brought me to this this whole manual and this manual has all of your rules and your guidelines okay now I wanted to open let's see if I open the billing general billing requirements it's a little slow because look how many pages the billing alone was 310 pages and this was just updated 9 6 2019 but it talks about um, chapter one submitting claims to Medicare okay jurisdiction for claims so spend time on the CMS website and go through these. Look at those 38 chapters. Those chapters um, are internet only manual. These chapters provide general coding guidelines and the medical coder to the medical coder and to other healthcare providers. This is an exceptional resource. Okay guys, they, these chapters, again, these chapters can be downloaded and saved on your computer or other electronic devices as PDF files but they give you your rules and your guides to what, whichever and this chapter one was on general billing requirements so spend some time playing on the CMS website okay alright guys join me in the next one we'll be, we'll be talking about um, this Medicare learning manual it's right on the CMS website page but it's the last thing down here that's my next video on the MLN homepage because you'll be amazed about what jobs you can find on CMS as well as education. Okay? All right, guys. Make sure to use that resource. Thanks. I'll see you in the next one.